What's going on guys, it's your boy J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Prison of Elders rewards for this week on all three of my characters. So this week was the first week that House of Wolves became available to us and with it we were able to try out all the new content that it had to offer including the Prison of Elders. So Prison of Elders is the newest PvE game mode, it is the end game PvE content equivalent to a raid and it is the newest arena mode that was introduced with the new expansion house of wolves so after trying out the prison of elders for the first time i really enjoyed it a lot it's a very fun game mode very hectic and intense as well because there's a lot of action the whole time and it's also very rewarding if you're able to complete some of the challenge modes that it has to offer so i'm gonna show you guys all the rewards that i acquired from my prison of elders runs um, so going into the rewards, I didn't actually use a treasure key to open the chest on every single run of Prison of Elders that I did with all my characters because treasure keys aren't the easiest thing to acquire. Um, it is based on RNG or luck base uh, if you get treasure keys when you're trying to farm them or acquire them. So I don't have like unlimited treasure keys to spare, but I am going to try to open up a treasure chest every week with... Um, at least one of my characters each so three treasure chests at minimum uh, so I can show you guys what I get from that middle chest so starting off on my first character on my hunter this is the level 28 base activity um, that I had to play to actually open up or unlock the challenge modes and for this we were able to get a patience in time and a dream waker rocket launcher so that's pretty cool the dream waker rocket launcher actually has some pretty good stats on it for a rocket launcher so I couldn't wait to re-roll it and get some good perks and level it up and I believe that you get in a, a guaranteed exotic every time you open up the middle chest um, for that week on each character so you're able to get three exotics I'm guessing since you got one of each character you can get an exotic on your first one so for the uh, this is the level 32 version the broken legion I believe and I ended up getting another Dream Waker along with the armor core that you uh, automatically get for completing the level 32 challenge mode. And uh, I was pretty bummed about this one because I already got a Dream Waker. And uh, I wanted to try out some of the other queen weapons that uh, they have to offer. So I was pretty bummed about that one. And then going into my uh, level 34 Urox's Grudge with my Hunter... This time, we're able to get alongside the um, guaranteed etheric light and the weapon core. I got a token of identity. And for the middle chest, we get the Queen Scout Rifle Hygia Nobilis. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but uh, that's the Scout Rifle, the Queen Scout Rifle. And that's what I got for my uh, level 34 with my Hunter. And then moving on to uh, my Warlock. I actually didn't complete uh, the level 35 challenge mode with any of my characters this week uh, because I was doing a lot of other stuff. I was doing Trials of Osiris as well. I didn't have enough time to play uh, that much, but hopefully we can uh, get the level 35 version done. But for my Warlock, this is the level 34, I believe, Urox's Grudge once again. I used it on this one, and uh, we get the Galahorn, which was pretty in amazing. That's like my second Galahorn. Uh, this week and uh, my teammates were pretty bummed about that because one of my teammates still has yet to get a Galahorn and again if you saw there I got another Dream Waker so that was pretty bad that's three Dream Wakers for me and uh, so this is my last character on my Titan I believe this is the level 32 version Broken Legion again we get another token we get a token of judgment and for the middle chest we get a hard light and a her benevolent sniper rifle which was pretty cool I can't wait to level this one up and uh, try out the sniper rifle. I heard it's pretty decent, especially if you get good perks on it. So I wanted to try it out, get some good perks, and level it up. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next week. Next week I'm actually not going to be uploading that much videos though because I'm going to be going on a trip. So I'm not going to be able to play as much and I won't be having as much uh, rewards and stuff because I won't be able to play as, uh, as much next week. Uh, so I won't be gone, or I will be gone for Trials of Osiris. So you guys might not see any Trials of Osiris rewards for next week, but the week after that, I will be back and playing and getting some more content for you guys. But next week, I'll try to get as much done and show you guys what I get. So thank you guys for watching once again, 
and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!